Charlie flight wood. Well, that's like when I was destroying the birds earlier. It was pretty cool because I remember destroying them. It was really neat. Okay, start. Yes, I am very proficient at starting these up. <laughs> yeah. I also put a perfect light there. So that way I can push the button in the light. But look how he holds his shotgun, man. He's like never shotguns before and he holds it with one arm. He is so VA awesomeness. Oh, it's a mini game thing. Okay. Long time. Right there. Here. Right here. Right there. But I'll put it right there. Let's see. Let's see what that does. Now I have to go up on this, right? Okay. Climb, mother. Where do you put the shotgun? I don't know. Yeah. Ow. Ah, <sighs> oh, that was a close one. If any of you crowd guys show up, blasting your face with this shotgun. Ooh. <clears throat> Take that pyramid. Of pop. Someone was really bored and made a pyramid of pop. Blown into smithereens with my shotgun that probably has like one shell. Oh. Who am I? Yes. Turn you on. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, <sighs> I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. The weather is absolutely still. The sky okay, is crystal clear. I did it. I did it. Clear. Mr. It's talking like radio man. The forest is quietly breathing along with you. What? You listeners know I'm a <laughs> night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. The forest is breathing. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> like naked. But here I am, and who would keep you oh, company all night wild. long if I weren't? <laughs> Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. Did you what are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth. It's Toby his son. After it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby his loves son rabbits. loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My what? number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly a, dog? Oh, he's a dog. Toby loves people. <laughs> Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too dumb for his own dog. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thank you. You have a good night now. <laughs> Yes. Why is this over here? Yes, another one of those random torch things. Give me one flare. I have two now. Should have used my flare gun earlier with those. That's gross. I don't want to hear that song anymore. <laughs> it's actually made me get more scared than, than I was already scared. Things pick up shiny things. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. See, I can, I can skip the ending parts because I already know what they say. Okay, keep going. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. 
Belly Burster is the best with no curves. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is. Who is Belly Burster? That sounds like a disgusting dog. Is he like destroy people's bellies? Why is everything blurry again? Ah! Ouch. Take that. Take flare that I didn't mean to shoot again. Okay. People is... Hey, I found another notebook thing. Notepad thing. Um... Ouch. Hold on, gotta pick this up. And burst. Burst, burst. Yeah, take that. Come on, come on, come on. Load, 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 load. Ah, uh, there we go. Now I'll read the page casually. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can get right back to the game. Cool. Um, I need to get out of this forest before more madmen come. Where is the exit? Ah, uh, there it is, I think. No! Run, run, run towards that red box. Oh wow, they follow us. Ouch. Oh yeah. Mm, fool, I finally decided to dodge you. Ow, but not you. Gone! Yeah! No, 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 no. Oh, finally. Burst, my fellow. Burst. Take all of this, too. Because I need it. Okay. Starting another generator. Oh, God, 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 oh, Hold on, hold on. Starting generation. Dang it. There we go. Oh. Where'd he go? Did he? Did I? Whoa. Safe haven. Oh. I started that so that way I could be safe. Now, where do I go? This way? Deep into the forest still? Ah, uh, this way. Coffee thermos. Thank you. My gosh, these guys never end. Ouch. Hold on, I'm still running. Oh. Uh, ouch. Ah! Stop throwing those things up in my butt. Ah! Wait, where'd the third one come from? Damn it, damn it, die. I mean, darn it. Haha, -ha, I think I dodged it or something. Hey, you trying to sneak up on me? Shoot you in your neck. Okay, cool. There, reloaded. Making my way up this hill. Because I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Keep running. I think I love the light. It's like my guilty mistress of light. Okay, keep going this way. Ow. Hey, is this where I was trying to get up early? Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Arrows are sometimes misleading, though. Sometimes they don't lead me to anything. That one diamond. Yeah. Box. 
give me some of your love. Which in this case is this flare gun. Which I will now switch to my other gun. Actually, I'll switch my shotgun because it looks super cool when he carries that. Okay. Wait, what? Do not roll after me. That would suck if you did that. If you rolled after me. It would suck if you tried to kill me today. Turn around, Alan. Turn it. Turn around. Come on, Alan. Run. We enjoy the magnificent. Take that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Yeah. Burst into light. Because I love light. I pretty much like the god of light, and I make you burst into light. Ooh. Is something bad gonna happen when I pick this up? Nope. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. But I need to find Alice, so whoa. Okay, I'm going in this building. I like buildings. Buildings are cool. Buildings give me. Ooh. Spray paint. Battery. Shotgun, yes. And actually, I had to pick up the whole shotgun. I don't think. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan. Who's Sagan? Princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. I wonder if I can shoot the TV. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. Ooh. That sounds creepy. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of Never the mind. many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. <laughs> it shall be Doctors part of can't a thought guns. experiment. That black guy can, though. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. Is that like a four-person suicide? No risk. Uh, quantum. Observe like what four. occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum. He's gonna kill himself. No, don't do it. Don't, 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 no, no. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. <laughs> Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in Night Springs. 
That was creepy. You know what? <coughs> I don't like that TP. Okay. I never want to see that show up again. Actually, it was really cool. That had me so intrigued. I think I could, I could barely comment on it. It was so intriguing. Bad acting, but yeah, nonetheless intriguing. 